Pepsi turds. I'm not going to do it. No. Hmm? Getting a turd. Oh, Pips is being a turd. Not a surprise. The Institute by Stephen King. I'm a little bit late with this review just due to my reading schedule being insane recently, but I finally got it done. This is the latest entry from one of the most well-known American authors of all time. Stephen King is prolific, he is monumental within his genres, and he is, uh, just, you know, he's Stephen goddamn King. And this is the first new release I have read from Stephen King since I really started getting into his material. I read The Outsider when it first came out, but I wasn't quite obsessed on the level that I currently am, although The Outsider kind of did spark that obsession. But for The Institute, based on the premise that was given to us, the reader, from the synopsis when it was first announced, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect with this one. It sounded odd for Stephen King to have this setup, keeping it spoiler free just what the base setup is. There are children with special abilities who are taken to a special institute. You kind of could get that from the title alone and knowing that this is going to be connected to the greater Stephen King universe that has been crafted up to this point. I will be keeping this review spoiler-ish free because it's now a new-ish book and I don't want to spoil it for people who want to pick it up still, but if you want my just 100% you want to know nothing more than the basic premise review, it's good. It's worth picking up. It's not my favorite Stephen King of all time, but the Institute does certainly prove that Stephen King has still got it. Some of my favorite Stephen King stories are the newer ones. He's having these really great ideas and he's putting these nice little Stephen King twists and spins on them that just make maybe something that's not the most original concept uh, refreshing and at least different to read and that actually perfectly surmises the Institute. Let's go ahead and get a bit deeper here. As I said, this is not the most original concept. We've seen similar ideas in everything from the X-Men universe to basically just modern horror and sci-fi. Kids with special abilities being taken. It happens a lot. But now we get the Stephen King take on it. And the Stephen King take actually doesn't change up too much. It basically just means different parts of this well-known story are re-emphasized. Of course, the character work is there. Stephen King is a master of crafting characters. He also seems to have a partiality to Southern characters that I'm realizing more and more. Most of the characters in the story are not Southern, but there's a couple that have a lot of personality quickly given to them. And Stephen King just seems to have like a way to craft Southern characters. I don't know, that, that that's a topic for a different day, but I just found that interesting and it's definitely a pattern I'm seeing emerge here from him. But this is a retelling of a concept that has certainly been done before, but incredibly cleanly and beautifully. I wouldn't change pretty much anything about the Institute, even though it does walk beat by beat, the story you kind of expect. It does it really well, and having that Stephen King personality glazed over top really did make it more enjoyable than I thought it would be. As I got about halfway into the book, I realized, oh, this is going to be pretty much exactly what I expect, I think. Maybe the ending will be different and crazy. But I still enjoyed every second of it because Stephen King handles everything like the true veteran he is. The pacing is immaculate, the character work is exceptional, and I want to transition in talking about a feature of Stephen King I don't think I've praised enough here on the channel, but I do want to within the Institute. Stephen King is actually really good at writing action. His handling of the reader's focus during action sequences I find to be truly spectacular. It's a feature of his writing I think in general might go underappreciated, and I'm not just talking about action in the purely shootout context. It's when things go down, when all the suspense and buildup finally has its payoff, Stephen King is remarkably good at handling those moments. He sometimes does falter with the actual endings, but in terms of climaxes, Stephen King has them down pat. And once again, that's true here in the Institute. But I will go ahead and throw onto that that I found the Institute all the way up until the very ending to be remarkably satisfying. While this isn't the best entry from Stephen King yet, I wouldn't even put it in my top five from him, I would say it's one of his most bulletproof. There's very few faults you can see here. And I can absolutely see the Institute being some people's favorite King. Maybe people who don't like the horror elements as much and like younger characters to focus on. This is right up their alley. You have a child's perspective, a perspective King is good at writing and it has some YA elements that are then turned darker by the events of the story, but with those just younger minds at play, it, it makes it almost so I want to say you, as young as 13 or 14, you could read and love this book and relate to the characters like you would a YA story. That's more just what I mean. He's able to bring those characters to life and make them feel the appropriate age they are. Even when he's adding in features like this character's much smarter or much more mature than their age, he leaves in the elements of just, hey, but they are still a kid very well. 
the obvious recommendation here is if you're a Stephen King fan, you're going to like this one and you'll want to pick it up and you will enjoy it. If you love the premise of the children against the Institute, the children against the bigger, badder, more ominous figures, again, this probably plays right up to you. But I think I would just recommend this to people who like uh, thrillers, I guess would be the genre here uh, from beginning to end because it's just solid. I don't think it's the best ever, as I said, but this is really just firm foundation all the way to the top of the story, well executed. It builds upon itself very well. It's kind of connected to the wider Stephen King universe, but it stands on its own legs as just a great entry from any author. And the fact that it's just connected to Stephen King makes it a little bit better. That's the powdered sugar on top of the muffin. If you forced my head in the water and said you wouldn't let it up until I told you a one fault for the Institute, I guess my one largest criticism would be I wanted a bit more personality from Luke Ellis, the main character. I felt like his personality lacked slightly at times, as well as some stronger emotional reactions to certain traumatic events that do happen in the story. But that wasn't a huge glaring flaw, and they were still there. I just wanted them turned up a tiny bit more, mainly because I know Stephen King handles high drastic emotion very well, and I'd like to see him handle the high drastic emotion of the events within the story on the level I know he could. But it's still good, just not as good as I know it maybe could have been. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on The Institute by Stephen King. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the merch store if you'd like to represent the channel or hit the Patreon if you'd like to support what I do here. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.